Hey everyone, welcome to World Heritage Journey. For today's video, we're at Bujbim Cultural Landscape in Victoria, Southern Australia. So this is a really interesting World Heritage Site and one that's unique for Australia because it's the only fully cultural World Heritage Site in Australia entirely devoted to Indigenous Australians. And what is it? Well, it's an aquaculture landscape fish farming that sustained the indigenous populations of the area for thousands and thousands of years. Let's check it out. Tucked away in an isolated corner of southern Australia, Budge Bim consists of several components. The largest area is a series of river channels and wetlands formed by lava flowing from the long extinct Bujbim volcano down to the sea. After the final eruption about 30,000 years ago, the local Gundamara tribe began a series of engineering works to create channels, canals, weirs and ponds. By diverting the water and funneling it into fish traps, the Gundamara created a stable year-round source of food, mostly kuyong, a local species of eel. But what's fascinating is that this stable source of food allowed the Gundamara to settle permanently in the area, constructing small stone dwellings near their fish traps. The system was in use from at least 4000 BC, right through until the 19th century. And it's highly unusual in Aboriginal Australian culture. Since the Australian mainland doesn't naturally have domesticable animals or crops, the indigenous populations survived and thrived for 60,000 years as nomadic hunter-gatherer tribes except for in small, specific areas like Bujbim. What a fascinating spot. 